So the next thing to happen on AEW Dynamite now, I forgot to mention one segment from earlier tonight. This happened like before the eight man tag team match or whatever, uh, where we see uh, where we see the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion Sonata actually, and he is going to be defending his IWGP World Heavyweight Championship at Forbidden Door in that open challenge. So yeah, that's what he said earlier. But then we get to the next match. It was a TNT Champion Wardlow versus uh, with. Orrin Anderson at ringside versus Jake Hager, one-on-one -on -one for the TNT Championship, and when Wardlow was making his entrance, Jake Hager attacked him and stuff, and then we get on to the match and stuff, uh, Jake Hager was doing okay, he had the ankle lock locked on uh, Wardlow at one point, and uh, Wardlow fought out of that, and then during this match, we see Matt Menard and Angelo Parker coming down, and uh, we see Orrin Anderson getting between them, and you know, he's pulling out the Glock and everything, and then we see Brock Anderson coming up, brawling with them two, and they all go backstage as well, Arn Anderson and all of them, and then we get back to the match, and uh, we see Jake Hager actually slam Wardlow, he goes for the pin, but Wardlow kicking out at one, Wardlow starts coming back at the ending of this match, uh, tossing Hager out of the ring and throws him back into the ring. He climbs up the top turnbuckle, he hits the swan time bomb onto him, and then he hits the power bomb onto Jake Hager and then pins him for the three count. So yeah, Wardlow defeated Jake Hager. He has retained the TNT Championship. That's what happened. It was an okay match for that match. I'll give it uh, two and a half stars as well. I'll give it nothing really too special. But then after the match ended, we see Christian Cage and Luchasaurus pop up on the big screen. And at first we couldn't hear him because... Uh, audio, whatever, I don't know what the hell happened, but then eventually we start hearing them now, and he's, and Christian Cage said that, uh, at Collision this Saturday, uh, Luchasaurus accepts your challenge, and he'll be facing you for the TNT Championship one-on-one, -on -one. so yeah, that would be happening at Collision, he says, oh yeah, one more thing, and then they showed, uh, Arn Anderson busted open and stuff, so yeah, more Logos, man, he starts running backstage, but yep, uh, that's what happened there. Uh, pretty good stuff, but then after that we see uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi actually, and he says that he's going to be challenging MJF for the AEW World of Void Championship at Forbidden Door, and then we see MJF getting checked out and stuff in the doctor's office, and then we see Renee Paquette coming up. And uh, Rene Paquette told MJF that Tony Khan made the match official. Him, he will be defending the AEW World Heavyweight Championship up against Hiroshi Tanahashi at Forbidden Door. And uh, MJF actually turns that down. He says, uh, no, I'm not going to defend my world title against somebody from an indie show from Japan or whatever. I'm not going to do that. But it's not the first time I no-showed event that Tony Khan booked. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what uh, MJF said. Pretty funny stuff, though. But, yep, uh, that's what happened there. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. See you guys later until then.